this is Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch.com tutorial on encrypting your USB drive. Now we're going to use TrueCrypt. I've put links to both the Windows and Mac versions in the show notes. You also want to plug in your USB drive so that it's recognized by your computer. And then open TrueCrypt and click Create Volume. Now the options that come up are to create an encrypted container. That's not really what we want to do. We want to pick encrypt a non-system partition or drive. And you'll see right here it specifically mentions flash drives. We'll click next. Now we have an option here to use a standard TrueCrypt volume or a hidden TrueCrypt volume. We'll cover this hidden TrueCrypt volume in a future tutorial. So with standard selected we'll click next. Now we need to find our drive. Here's mine right here, Docs Drive. It's recommending that if you're inexperienced, you should just create a container and put your stuff in it instead of encrypting the entire drive. If you want to encrypt the entire device, click yes. I'm clicking yes. I think it's wise to leave never save history checked. We'll click next. Now here's a section where it depends on what operating system you're running. The encrypt partition in place is available, but it's only available under Windows Vista. So if you don't have Windows Vista, you have to select this first option. And you should be aware that it's creating an encrypted volume and then formatting it. So any data you have on your USB drive would be lost. Make sure you back up your data. You can just copy it off onto a par portion of your hard drive. Encrypt the volume. Let it be formatted and then copy your data back. So we're going to select this option. Click Next. It's warning us if there's any power interruption. You know, do we have a backup of our data? Yes, we do. So we're going to click Yes. It's asking us which type of encryption. We use this. You can do a test if you wish. Say Next. Now it's asking me for a password. I've typed in my password twice. Click Next. Yes, short passwords are easy. And here you can actually see it running the encryption. And that's done because of this display pool content. If I uncheck that, you don't see it. But I think it's kind of neat to watch. And it says to move your mouse as randomly as possible in this window. The longer you move it, the better. This significantly increases the cryptographic strength of the encryption keys. Then click next to continue so we're going a little nutso with the mouse cursor for me it's one time when it's allowed now click next wipe mode is a way that if the passwords entered incorrectly you can wipe it I'm gonna use none click next click the encrypt and it's telling us that we won't be able to access any of the files and so on until the drive is fully encrypted. But it goes pretty fast. I, I have a 4 gigabyte USB drive and it's already at about 0.6% done. So they're saying it'll take about 27 minutes. So when we're done, the entire drive will be encrypted. When you want to access it, you'll have to enter the password. If you lose the password, you're out of luck. So, this is encrypting your USB drive using TrueCrypt, and that's all there is to it.